Hi guys, it's Camille from Pareto Education and welcome to our video on abdominal pain. Abdominal pain is a very common presentation and due to the amount of organs in the abdominal cavity, it can be quite difficult to decipher exactly where the pain is coming from and what's the diagnosis. In pain histories, you can always use the Socrates way of going through the pain and this is quite helpful, especially when there's so many things to consider. The abdominal cavity is split into nine sections. Where the pain is can give you some insight into what the overall diagnosis is and the best way to manage this. Associated symptoms you should ask in an abdominal pain history include things like nausea and vomiting, loose stools and constipation, even jaundice and changes in eating habits, that kind of thing. Red flags in any abdominal history include weight loss, a change in bowel habit, for instance, melina or blood, even things like fever can indicate even a cholangitis. As you can see, quite complex. So let's see an abdominal history in action and we'll take it from there. Hi, I'm Camille, one of the pharmacists at the practice with an extended role. Can I just take your name and date of birth, please? Yeah, I'm uh, John Taylor and I'm uh, 62. Okay, brilliant. So nice to meet you, John. Be nice to take a bit of a history from you and see what we can take from there and see if I can help you as well. So what's brought you into the practice today? Well, I've had a, a quite bad niggly pain actually in my tummy. Okay, so you just pointed to the uh, right side. Just tell me a little bit more about this pain. I mean, well, it's been going on for a few few months actually. Okay. Um, it's just, yeah, I mean, it's the right side of my tummy and also kind of around here. Okay. Um, I've kind of been putting it off, but it's just becoming worse and worse and my wife's been nagging me about it and uh, and here I am speaking to you. Okay, brilliant. So that's the reason really you came. It's not because the pain's changed or it's worse? No, not really. It's just the fact that it's not really going. Okay. So tell me about this pain. I mean, it's, it's around the right side of your, of your tummy. Sometimes it can go to the middle. So tell me, did it start all of a sudden? Is it associated with anything? I'm not quite sure when it started. Okay. Um, it's just, I just noticed it. I think we were abroad on holiday day one day and uh, yeah. just started with it and I thought you know maybe it's just what I've eaten but yeah. it's kind of continued. Okay and tell me about the pain is it sort of a stabbing pain is it like a griping pain always there? It's just um, a really bad ache. Okay. And it's not always there. Actually. All right okay so it comes and goes. Yeah it kind of goes away completely and then comes with a vengeance. Oh I'm sorry to hear that. So this pain Obviously, you've just mentioned it goes to the centre of the stomach. Does it go anywhere else? To your legs, to your back? Actually, it goes to my shoulder. Okay. And that's really weird. Okay. I'm not quite sure how that works, but you're the clinician. Yeah, of course. So we'll, we'll go into and explore this a little bit more as well. So tell me about this in terms of any other symptoms. So I will mention some symptoms and you can tell me if you've been experiencing them as well. So have you had any vomiting with this pain? No, but I do get quite nauseous when okay. I have the pain. All right. Um, any sort of loose stools, anything like that, change any bowel habits? No, bowels have been as normal. Okay. Have you felt any sort of, you know, we call it jaundice, but it means basically yellowing of the skin. So normally people notice it in the eyes first. No, not that anybody said that I've become a bit yellow. Okay. And is the pain sort of quite tender to the touch or is it just sort of going going? No, no. I mean, it just, it feels quite deep, quite okay. internal. And is it associated with sort of eating and drinking or anything like that at all? Well, I mean, sometimes when I'm eating um, a bit of a fatty meal, mm. you know, some chips or some steak or mm. um, it can get quite painful okay. a, a little while after that, actually. Okay, fine. And do you say that your diet is quite fatty in origin or is it quite healthy? No, actually, it's pretty healthy. All right. I like to eat a lot of greens and fish, mm. but, you know, occasionally everybody indulges. Of course, of course. So tell me about this, some more symptoms, any heartburn as such? No, no heartburn. Okay, so you've not experienced that. And have you noticed any changes in your sort of, when you're emptying your bladder, sort of any pain when you're passing urine, any blood in the urine? No, I haven't, haven't noticed any ch anything like that. Okay, perfect. So we'll talk a, bit, a little bit about your risk factors for different things as well. So we'll talk about sort of alcohol intake. Well, very moderate, mild to be honest, maybe once a week, have a pint or two. Okay, that's normal strength uh, lager or? Yeah, just some beer. Okay, perfect. And you mentioned your diet is quite healthy overall. Have you got any history of any ulcers, anything like, you know, in your stomach or in your? No, not that I've been told. Okay, no. and do you smoke at all? 
No smoking. All right, brilliant. Do you have any other medical problems that I should be aware of? Like what? Sort of like, you know, high blood pressure, diabetes, any breathing issues, anything with your heart? No, I mean, the doctor did say a long time ago that I was borderline diabetic, but okay. not on any medication, so okay. I s assume I'm all right. All right, and what about things like, you know, with your liver, have you ever been diagnosed with fatty liver or, you know, ulcers we mentioned earlier, anything with that acid, reflux? No, nothing like that. No, nothing like no. that. And what about with the intestines sort of IBS, IBD, anything like that? No, no, I've been all right. Okay, and what about in terms of your gallbladder? Have you heard of that before? Yeah, I know what the gallbladder, that's where bile is made, is that that's right? That's right, yeah. yeah, so just digestive enzymes and things. Anything problems with that in the past? Any gallstones or any sort of infection? Not really, no. Okay, brilliant. Okay, and what about things like the pancreas and, you know, anything like that? Any, have you ever had any issues with the pancreas before? No, okay. I don't even know what that is. Okay, it's just one of the uh, organs in the, the body as well. It's right. actually situated on the left side. So I'm right. a bit less concerned about that, but it can sometimes become inflamed or anything like that. Okay. All right. So we'll ask a, f a few of the symptoms and then we can get more into the crux of what's going on here as well. In terms of your f family history, have you got any sort of, you know, liver problems, anything like that that I mentioned before, any of the organs? No, nothing at all. Okay. Family's sound. All right. You've experienced any weight loss, anything? No, I've been all right. In fact, I've been gaining weight. Okay, brilliant. So, you know, the weight loss is more only the concerning thing and can signify something quite serious. Fair enough. Any changes in your appetite? I'm eating like a horse. Okay, so, brilliant. Uh, <laughs> still eating lots. Okay, and any sort of black stools, anything like that? No, not really. So no changes in your bowel habit? No. Okay, perfect. And has the colour of your urine changed at all? No, I think it's uh, nice and normal, I think. Okay, perfect. So, of course, we will examine you and, and things like that. So just to, just to rule out a few things as well. But have you any ideas what this could be? I mean, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure, to be honest, but mm. I do have some worries. Mm. What are you worried about? Well, I'm just, you know, worried that this could be, you mentioned it before, maybe my gallbladder. And I've got a lot of friends that have had, you know, gallbladder problems and been reading online, which mm. I know I shouldn't have, but maybe this is it. Okay, so potentially that's one of the reasons and that's quite high on my list of things it potentially could be. Um, sometimes when, you know, especially as we age and this kind of thing, can gallstones can develop. Have you heard of this? Oh, right. Is that what you think it might be? Potentially. I mean, we'd, we'd have to do some further tests and obviously I'd have to examine you, do some blood tests and this kind of thing and potentially an ultrasound. This would be able to give us more of a definitive answer about whether it's definitely is gallstones or not. Fine, okay, fair enough. So, of course, things that are alluding towards this gallstone problem is the fact that it potentially sometimes is exacerbated by when you eat. Okay. And the pain that it's sort of describing on your right side, mm. it's quite a griping type pain, especially when you eat fatty foods. Mm. And the enzymes that the gallbladder stores do help with digestion of fatty foods as well. Fine, I so see. When uh, it contracts to release this bile, as you mentioned, if there are any stones in there, this, they can sort of dislodge, travel, move around that digestive tract, and this can sometimes cause pain. Sounds, um, doesn't sound good. Okay, so we can definitely do some things about it, especially if, you know, we, it's not an acute emergency such as an infection, which is the, one of the complications that we worried about with patients with gallstones. Mm. Um, we can offer some dietary advice as well and things like that and to see if your pain is well controlled. Mm. And then normally, if it is gallstones, then you normally see a, potentially a surgeon and then you can talk about things like you mentioned with your friends, you know, even gallbladder removal. Fine, okay. Now that sounds like a good plan. Okay, so what we'll do now is I'd like to examine you and then we'll make a definitive plan about if there is gallstones or if I think it could be something else. And then, like I say, we'll think about the blood tests and we'll think about potentially the ultrasound. So just before we end this consult, I'd like to make you aware of a couple of things. There are a few symptoms that we consider red flags. This just means that if these become apparent, then you should seek some immediate medical attention. So symptoms mainly you should look out for is acute pain, mm -hmm. fever if you become very unwell with it, mm -hmm. and also jaundice, so we look at sort of yellowing of the skin, of so yellowing of the eyes, anything like that. Mm -hmm. And if you're experiencing these kind of symptoms, get some immediate medical help, potentially in A&E, okay? Fair enough. Because this is indication of an infection. Okay. All right, so I will leave you with that. Thanks a lot.